Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I am your tutor, Sarah Wamaida. So today I'm taking you through CRE Form 2, Lesson 13. Our topic is still under the Guardian Ministry. And our subtopic is Rejection of Jesus at Nazareth. Rejection of Jesus at Nazareth. Welcome. We start by our lesson objectives, our lesson goals. What is expected of the learner by the end of the lesson? So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe the rejection of Jesus at Nazareth. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to, uh, to describe the rejection of Jesus at Nazareth. So we find this, the rejection of Jesus at Nazareth. We find this in Luke chapter 4, verse 14 to 30. So, after the temptation, Jesus went to Galilee. This was his home district. He went to begin his ministry. So, as a faithful Israelite, Jesus attended church service in the synagogue. That is on every Sabbath day. And during that time, it was camp stormary for the visiting rabbis or the teachers of the law to be given the honor of reading the book, reading the law, or to address the congregation. So now, when, it was, when Jesus was given this opportunity, he opened the scroll and read from Isaiah 61, verses 1 to 3. And it says, The Sovereign Lord has filled me with his spirit. He has chosen me and sent me. So, on compression of the leading, Jesus told them that today, this scripture has been fulfilled in their hearing. So, when he finished reading that scripture, it's when Jesus told them that the scripture had been fulfilled in their hearing. And we see from this scripture, Jesus referred to himself as the Messiah. From this scripture, Jesus referred to himself as the Messiah. And the people of Nazareth, they wanted, they were angry and they wanted to kill Jesus by throwing him over grief. So we see the people rejecting Jesus because he led from Isaiah and he told them that the scripture had, be f had been fulfilled on their hearing. So that is when or how Jesus was rejected in Nazareth. Let's look at the some reasons why Jesus was rejected at Nazareth. One, it's because people knew him as the son of Mary and Joseph. He claimed to be the son of God, but people knew him as the son of Mary and Joseph. So they, so they couldn't believe what he was saying. Another reason, another reason for rejection because he did not fit in the idea of a political king. The Jews were expecting. We see that the Jews expected a political leader, a king. So they never thought that. It was Jesus because he could not fit in that idea. Also, another reason is that most often one is not acceptable at his hometown, especially as a senior position or on a, as a senior position. Another reason why Jesus was rejected because he did not follow the general rules of the law of Moses. He failed to observe the general rules of the law of Moses. Another reason why Jesus was rejected because he associated with sinners and the outskirts. The adulterers, the sinners, the Pharisees, Jesus associated with everybody. So they rejected Jesus at Nazareth. So we have come to our the end of our lesson. And we have looked at the rejection of Jesus at Nazareth and the possible reasons for rejection of Jesus at 
Nazareth. So I will leave you with the following questions. Question one, describe the rejection of Jesus at Nazareth. Question two, what are the possible reasons for rejection of Jesus at Nazareth? So for our references, we can refer to secondary Christian religious education, student book two, KLB third edition. Thank you for joining us for this and more. You may contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You may also find us on YouTube, Elimu TV. You may also find us on Facebook at Elimu TV and at Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. See you next time.